Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of the show. Today we're taking a look at a few of the Animal Warriors of the Kingdom products. A couple of figures and a weapon set. And I must say thanks, big, big thanks to Brett at Toylanta and Jason at Spiro Toys for sending these over. These are something that I've been looking at for a while. You know, back at Toylanta, I tried to get to their booth and I couldn't even, couldn't even get to it. It was so crowded every time I walked by, so I just had to skip over it. But uh, thankfully, thankfully, they sent me some of these for review, so I want to give it a good, a good once over here. And I will say, just by looking at them in the package, I do love the package design for these guys. I love that artwork on the back. It's just simple. It reminds me of comic book art. Uh, and as far as independent toy makers go, this might be some of the better packaging that I have uh, that that I've seen on some of these things. And and just to give you uh, some some comparison here here is a mythic legions figure to me the background on the mythic legions figures is a little busy a little dark you know i'm not i'm not saying that it's bad it's just i like the cleaner aesthetic of of this package compared to something like this even if you i, I don't have one in front of me but like the the action force line it's a little uh it's a little dark and there's not anything fun about it, right? Uh, I like fun, light, fun colors. I like looking at artwork like this on the back of a package, like comic book art compared to like the painted art here. I know what they're going for with this look, but to me, it, it doesn't scream toy as much as this guy. So by far, I, I love the... The artwork on the back. Ooh, look at that. That is that's an awesome. Now I don't know much about Animal Warriors of the Kingdom, so I, this is my first review of these figures, and we're gonna go just like this, just straight out of the box, knowing nothing about it. Here's a look at the back of this guy. That's that's pretty that's pretty bad. And I will say, side of this box, this guy is heavy. He's God, he's got to weigh five pounds at least. I mean, he, he's 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 seriously. Serious, seriously has some heft to him. Today we're going to be taking a look at the horrid brute, feral beastie, and he kind of, he's, if you look at him, he's kind of got those beast man colors. And we're going to take a look at the weapons loot. As you can see, it says weapons loot here at the top. This is basically uh, just a weapons pack, and they all have that orange, reddish, kind of bright sheen to them. So interesting. I'm interested in putting those on this guy to see what they actually look like. So without further ado, let's get into breaking these guys open so now that we have them out of the package I must say uh, these are some really nice really nice figures and I'm gonna try to do my best to compare com to compare them to something like you know just a normal Hasbro GI Joe classified figure or a Marvel legend or or something like that because like this guy is in the same price range so this guy right here will cost you about 23 bucks. I mean, you're going to pay the same thing for a Marvel Legends figure, but the value you get with this guy, I think, is, is, is a lot more than you would with a Marvel Legends figure, especially when you when you start talking like just just the accessories or the weapons like this weapons pack. Man, this is not the the brittle or or very bendy like let's see let's take something over here like this shang chi staff i think this was shang chi staff i just had it over here in the, on, on the side very 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 bendy so the the quality of the plastic is not as good this not so much not so much bendy here's a here's a staff of some sort see not is not nearly as bendy very very sturdy material again the the independent studios are making some of the best stuff in my opinion uh the quality is there the pricing especially for this set is is pretty good now this just accessory set is $14.99 so you you can't really beat that. Oh man, look, I didn't even notice this. So it's got a, a little piece right here and a piece right here, I guess. So if you really want to just add them together, you can to make a, a totally new and different weapon. Uh, I guess that's what this actually is for. And I'm just a, a goofy because I didn't recognize that out of the box. But that's that's actually a pretty cool staff. Man, so, so with this accessory set, you get this, which comes in two pieces you get a couple of axes which these are 
fairly awesome awesome axes again there is i can't you can't see it in the video what well, you might can see it in the video is there is two-tone paint here this is sort of a, a muted brown brownish red and this is the the shinier red that goes with it i guess the metal is supposed to be shinier and this is supposed to be you know more of a muted color up next we have a couple of daggers these are some <laughs> these are interesting I, I don't think i've ever seen these with action figures before so it's a newer style knife blade whatever you want to call it but very it, it, it seems like it it goes along with the animal aesthetics of this wave so pretty cool knives here are a couple of swords awesome awesome swords i love some swords and uh this is these are really cool kudos to the designer of the the weapons because they are they really rock the only thing and of course this is you know you can say this about pretty much anybody maybe just a, a little extra paint somewhere on here and you know if you're a customizer you can do that yourself obviously but uh and, and for the what you're paying for this i mean you're getting a pretty pretty good weapon right now even without the paint but just a little you know wash or something or maybe just a black inside the indentions right there. I, I don't know. I'm just talking out of my butt now because you always have to find something wrong with with, with everything. But uh, obviously with this set, I don't find much wrong at all. Here is a bow that came with the set. It doesn't have a string with it or any arrows, but it's still, you know, a, a nice thing, I guess, to hold. I guess, you know, just for display, especially if you had, like, if you're army building some of these guys. You don't want the same weapons for every one of them, so that's kind of cool. So let's take a close-up look at this guy. As you can see, he he looks really, really cool. Got the Beastman aesthetic going on from Masters of the Universe. You can see, but the eye, look at the eyes, man. The eyes are painted really, really well. The blue on the nose is spot on. It's not like flaking all or oversprayed on anything else. So really nice job on the paint apps on that guy. Uh, just looking at him. I love the feet, the little, the extra toe. Oh, look at that. Toenails on him, too. So they go all out. They even have toenails. I mean, sculpted toenails on the figure's feet. That's that's pretty awesome. Check out the back. There's holes in the back, I guess, for maybe like a future backpack or maybe some other figures come with a backpack. I'm not sure about that. But, yeah, that's what that is. Now, this is some softer plastic, you know, so it can, it can bend. So... All in all, just uh, aesthetically pleasing, uh, nice looking uh, monkey type figure. I guess, I guess this is a, a monkey type figure. What would you say? It looks kind of like baboonish with the way the face is shaped. I don't know, but uh, overall, that is awesome. Let's see how easy it is to like swap out a hand or something because he does come with four different hands. He comes with the. I'm gonna get your hands and of course he comes with a couple of fists so let's swap out one of the hands right quick let's just pull on it oh okay so it does come out easy it comes out fairly fairly easy let's see how hard it is put back in it goes right back in and this is straight out of the box I haven't warmed any pieces and parts up this is literally me pulling it right out of the box easy peasy to swap hands on love that love that love that all right so taking a look at the articulation on this guy his head can rotate all the way around this guy it's on a ball joint so it's got all the movement you would expect back forth side to side all that kind of good stuff got butterfly joints as you can see i like that better than like mcfarland's way of doing that arms rotate all the way around i could go up about that high he's got bicep swivel double jointed elbows Double jointed elbows will almost allow him to pick his nose. Wrists rotate all the way around and have movement back and forth. He does have ab crunch, which is cool. I like that some people are still using this kind of ab crunch. A lot of companies are getting away from it. I don't know why, but uh, I do still love that. It's my favorite form of ab crunch. Can he turn the waist? He can turn all the way around. He does have, I think he has. Yes, he does have some thigh swivel, so he can turn at the thigh 360. Now, he can bend. I don't know how far he can bend because this is really going to impede his his movement side to side. Back and forth. He's got he's got good movement, though. 
he's a he's a monkey he should have double jointed knees you can see he can almost kick his own butt and of course he has some nice movement at the feet back and forth got a foot peg there too if you look at that and he does have ankle rockers so they can move around i tell you when i first got him out of the box he couldn't stand up on his own but that was because i needed to adjust the feet just a little bit from side to side to help him to help him really stand tall so here is the horrid brute this guy like i said he is massive he is huge he comes with this axe again nice look to it and it doesn't bend all that much you want a nice sturdy weapon for these guys because you don't want it to bend over time when it's on your shelf it comes with this mace <laughs> that's pretty rocking that's a pretty rocking mace man imagine getting hit with that good gosh that would kill you comes with a couple of fists and a couple of grabby hands as well now i think the one of these pair of hands were not you couldn't see it in the package it was actually in a little bag taped to the back of the inside of the box so you actually get more than what you think when you buy this thing taking a look at this guy i mean this guy's absolutely just huge uh i <laughs> i mean look at him just that that is so awesome even the detail look at the detail on like the 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 arm guards there's like little dents and and missing pieces and stuff in the sculpt that just make it really pop same thing over here on the shoulder pauldron some of this armor too and just really really nice looking action figure and very very gorilla looking i mean like huge chest long arms big arms too oh, oh, maybe overly big but in a good way because this is a toy so you want it to really really pop and little t t90 legs but the t90 legs don't keep it from standing it's the the figure's well balanced it i've, I've tried to knock him over but he, he's he's really really well balanced look at his head head rotates all the way around again not not as much movement on this guy's head as as the other one but you know it it's a little bigger so and you got a lot more to contest your movement here especially because of the the helmet on this guy as you can see there there is no butterfly joints but understandable because of the how the girth of this guy and how it might mess up everything else but take a look at him he can lift his arm about that high he does have 360 shoulder swivel but i don't know how much you want to really test that because there's a lot of, of muscle there to really get in the way. And he is he's kind of tight coming out of the box. I, I will say he's just a little tight coming out of the box. But, you know, if, if you do the whole warm him up with a, a you know, boiling water or hair dryer trick, you know, it, it should move him quite easily. He doesn't have uh, double jointed elbows, just the one elbow bend, but the elbow does swivel. So you do have that compared to uh sorry and sorry by the way i'm holding him he's just so big i mean you can't you, there's only so much you can do with him pans rotate too do they have the ability to move up and down i think i see some swivel in there yeah i mean not swivel but back and forth so he does have some rotation there i don't know how much you're gonna get seeing as how he has these like wrist guards on i don't know if that's gonna impede your your movement there nice big ab crunch see how far he can go he's got a clicky clicky ab he can look about that far forward about that far well that's standing straight up so not much in the way he can look that far that's still that's not bad for, for a guy this big he can rotate all the way around at the waist looking here he does oh wow okay he does have thigh swivel which well that was the knee sorry let me grab this guy you can see the thigh swivel here it's hard to to really get it but you can see I'm just bending the there we go I'm moving it now just hard to move because the knees tends to want to move with it can't really tell how much movement you're gonna get because of this especially this this is a lot thicker than the other figures uh, little waist garment whatever you want to call it uh, he does have turn at the knee and he can bend at the knee about that far back as far as feet go he has the same as the other figure I, again i love the the fact that you get actual toenails on these guys 
and he has some piv pivot there back and forth he does have this cool i didn't even notice this but a cool like knee knee guard and calf guard whatever kind of armor you want to call that but again just really really awesome imposing looking action figure I, <laughs> oh god he's gonna look great on the shelf He'll look absolutely great on a shelf. So all in all, what do I think about these figures? Should you go out and at least sample some of these figures? I do. I do. I really do. Uh, I think they are some great action figures. I might even put them a little above Mythic Legions. Why? Because to me, they are a little more toyetic than the Myth Mythic Legions action figures. And I use that as, when I say toyetic, I mean because if you look at what they're trying to accomplish with this line, you know, animals fighting each other. It looks like a toy line that would have been on a toy shelf in the 80s, you know, maybe not nearly the articulation, a simpler looking line uh, of toys, but they would have been on a toy shelf in, in a store in the 80s for you to buy. I mean, it's straight, it's straight from the 80s. The, the, I, I really, I know there's some comic books based on this, I really want to go check those out just to kind of get a backstory of these warring factions of, of animals. So I, I, I really dig them. Articulation's great. This, the sculpts are great. I like how, you know, how hefty that guy is. Moving him around is awesome. This guy, you can, you can get a lot of poses out of. Even look at that. I mean, just, just that simple pose is hard to get with like a Marvel Legends figure or a G.I. Joe classified figure. Uh, well, one, I will say the monkey feet do help in, with, you know, that extra toe really does help stand in these figures. But overall, just nice, nice action figures. Uh, and so much so, I like these so much so that uh, there is another Kickstarter for Primal uh, Wave Series 2. And uh, they have an awesome looking rabbit and a fox figures that, that are coming out. So I went and backed that. Uh, so I highly suggest you go hit that Kickstarter up and, and or at least just look and see what they're doing. Um, I would be interested to see even more like some of the armor and stuff on this size figure because this this is, is while it is pretty cool on this figure, you know, I would like to see some chest armor and stuff like that. And I, I do know that they or I think they have accessory packs that will give you, you know, some armor for some of these uh army building type action figures and kudos to to Spiro toys for for going you know all out and and paying homage to like motu to masters of the universe with you know giving this guy a beast man deco you know i think they actually gave this guy a beast man deco too and made him like a power con exclusive or something that and i'm sure he's probably long sold out but i remember seeing maybe something like this at joe fest but this guy in that color palette i could be wrong i could be wrong i'll just wrap this up by saying do yourself a favor go out and grab at least one of these take it out of the box play with it because i think you'll be pleasantly surprised at just how well these toys are built they are a lot better than what i actually thought they were going to be so kudos to spiro toys for going above and beyond coming up with this cool concept for these animal warriors and uh, I'm looking forward to learning more about them and picking up a few more of these guys. All right, folks, if you like what I'm doing, please hit that like button, that subscribe button. Share this content. I sure would appreciate it. And as always, God bless.